All right, this is the first in a four-part series on a portable garage. It's a prefabricated structure and has a flooring system of my own design. Um, we're starting out with a SolidWorks part file in feet and inches, sixteenths. Um, and I do these as weldments because I like the trim features. I also like that it auto generates a cut list. Um, and so we'll go ahead and get started here. The first thing I did is a floor plan master sketch. And if you look at the master sketch, what it is, it's I went with inside dimensions. So it's 32 on the inside. And it's 14 feet on the outside, and the reason for the 14 feet is that's the max they'll let you go down the road with a fairly cheap permit. They get quite a bit more expensive past 14 feet. I think you can go all the way up to 16 feet or wider, but 14 feet's going to be uh, your, your cheaper level permit. So basically the 32 feet inside allows me with a standard four foot panel layout or eight foot however you want to however you want to think about it. If you put the panels on their side you run them horizontally the sheetrock you're going to get uh, four panels down without having to cut anything hopefully. What you'll see right here is I've got um, these two lines here are set up and you'll see later why those are there but they're important and so the this is just a skeleton structure for me to kind of bring up all of my framing off of uh, next I generated a front wall plane and a front wall master sketch and so basically I'm going to do a 12 foot by 10 foot door 12 foot wide by 10 feet tall Building inside up to the roof joists is 12 feet. Um, it's actually going to end up being a little less than that because of the lid. And they're 9.5 inch BCIs. They're, they're the 650, 1.8 by 9.5s. Uh, in case I ever want to stack another one on top, I can. The, the load will handle it, so that's part of why I used um, that large of a BCI and you also want to keep this thing under I think it's 13 or 14 feet tall for going down the road uh, you'd end up having to crane onto a low boy and uh, it's not a big deal for those guys other than you just have to stay below a certain height on the truck so let's see next one is a rear wall master sketch I've got a couple of windows in there. They're three feet by six feet tall, six foot two inches apart, and they're three feet two inches off the floor. Now, that three foot two inches is questionable. I, I may adjust that a little higher. For a garage, what it, you don't want is you're going to end up working with a lot of metal objects in a garage, and I could certainly imagine a uh, piece of metal getting shoved through a glass window so I might bump that up to three foot six inches or something like that and then lastly I've got a uh, left wall master sketch and it, right now I just have one window this is from what I would call the back of the garage where the countertop is it's two feet off the back wall that gives me a um, I can make a sheer wall panel right there and then it's a 5060 window. And so that those are all the sketches that I that start this project. Um, I've got two more um, planes. The planes are top of framing and then roof plane. So obviously those are self-explanatory. Alright, so that's the end of part one. I hope you guys will check out the other three videos showing the framing and all that good stuff. Thanks.